An early morning shooting has police looking at all possibilities, including a hate crime. A home in Northeast Charlotte was sprayed with bullets, injuring a woman in the leg inside. You can see the bullet holes in this video. The woman has a broken femur tonight. WBTV's Dedrick Russell is live at CMPD headquarters in Dedrick. No motive established, but the victim and the Muslim community think they know why this shooting happened. Yeah, they absolutely do, Maureen. In fact, the Muslim community will lay out their concerns tomorrow during a press conference. But today, the homeowner tells me he is troubled and wants justice. Twelve bullets all hitting this one house. I don't know why if somebody had targeted to our house. Abdul was home at the time of the shooting. He had no idea his house was under attack. His wife was hit in the leg with one of those flying bullets while she was sleeping. Abdul realized his wife was shot when she told him she couldn't move her leg. She was scared and worried, of course. The homeowner says this crime reminds him of the recent shooting deaths of three Muslims in Chapel Hill. Abdul's family is Muslim. He says after those murders, this is how some reacted to his family concerning their attire. Somebody approached my wife and told her, why don't you ask your daughter to, for their own protection to remove the headscarf. That experience, and since no other homes were shot on his block, he thinks the motive is obvious. Others in the Muslim community agree. Until something is proven otherwise, I think we should all look at this case as he was targeted. Jabril Huff represents the local Muslim community. We can't let this fall by the wayside. We have to put this under a microscope. Police say this investigation continues. They were asked if this was a hate crime. We're not going to rule anything out. Uh, we're going to put everything on the table. We're going to look at all uh, possibilities. While officers find out the reason why this happened, the family wants the suspects caught immediately and justice served. In case of a hate crime, it should be stopped. And we wish that Americans should live in peace and harmony. The homeowner tells me tonight he is unsure if his family will move back into that house. But in the meantime, he tells me he does not want to live in fear. Now, tomorrow, the Muslim community will figure out what more can be done to protect Muslims. Remember, police have not ruled this a hate crime, but the Muslim community, they have already made their decision. If you have any information concerning this case, you are asked to call police. We're live at CMPD headquarters, Dedrick Russell. WBTV on your side. We'll continue to follow this, Dedrick. Thank you.